With the war raging in the Middle East, this morning the mayor of New York has the city on notice. We have to be high alert. We cannot let our guards down. With the threat of violence and possible lone wolf attacks, the NYPD has increased patrols and added shifts to secure Jewish places of worship. New York stands with Israel. At a pro-Israel rally Tuesday with speakers including New York Governor Kathy Hochul, the NYPD was taking no chances. This is one of the largest pro-Israel rallies since the Hamas attacks. There are thousands of people here, but before they even showed up, police were here doing security sweeps. The increased security measures spread across the country. The Department of Homeless Security and the Federal Bureau of Investigation are working closely with state and local law enforcement and Jewish community partners. The president adding there is no place in the United States for hate against anybody, Jews or Muslims. In L.A., police are patrolling Jewish communities. Pittsburgh, where a mass shooter killed 11 people at a synagogue in 2018, has also added patrols and beefed up its intelligence gathering. <laughs> while Jewish leaders are calling on people to be vigilant. Historically, it is known that anti-Israel violence um, equates to a huge increase in anti-Semitic actions in other areas. Competing rallies can be flashpoints for confrontation, which is also playing out as a war of words on college campuses. Students at multiple universities across the country are being criticized for organizing protests against Israel in the wake of the attacks. At Harvard, a coalition of 34 student organizations released a letter Saturday that said they hold the Israeli regime entirely responsible for the unfolding violence. Under pressure for not responding, the university's president issued a statement Tuesday condemning Hamas and saying no student group speaks for Harvard. New York City has the largest Jewish community outside of Israel, and the mayor is calling on the public to help as well. In his words, this is not a time to be on your phone. He says, look up and be aware of your surroundings. Hoda, back to you. All right, Stephanie Gosk for us here in Midtown. Steph, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.